The slightly conducting oil in this tank allows us to further illustrate the shear stresses caused by the accumulation of surface charge and a tangential field. The left electrode is grounded. The right electrode, as well as the slanted plate, is to be raised to a potential of 10 to 20 kilovolts. The fluid moves to the right near the interface and is returned near the bottom. The motion suggests that there is an electrical shearing surface force acting at the interface. The potential between the end electrodes causes a uniform current density throughout the liquid with an attendant electric field intensity. Both the right and upper electrodes are raised to the positive potential, while the potential increases linearly from the left to right along the fluid interface. This interface acts as the lower plate of a distributed capacitor, with the upper electrode the opposite plate. That is, the slanted plate induces surface charges on the interface. These surface charges are acted on by the tangential component of electric field at the interface to produce a shearing force at the interface. <laughs>